let's uh, do something with this here. Let's say you wrote out something like this, and you want to throw it on your laser engraver. But you're not really sure how to do that. Here are a couple of ways in Inkscape and Lightburn how you can take handwriting and you can engrave it in two different ways. So I want to take a photograph of my image there. I'm going to send it to my computer. Now, there are several different ways you can do this. You can scan this into a printer scanner if you have the ability in one of those, but if you just have a phone, you can definitely do it that way as well. Alright, so depending on the way that you actually scan in your image, I did it two different ways. I used my phone and I just transferred it over to my computer. And I also have a scanner that I use to scan it in. So we're going to see what the two different styles look like. So we got these two images over here that I use with my phone and the two images on the left is the scan. Now here's why using your phone is tricky but you can do it. Is if you get any shadow effects like this. It may either be completely in shadow or you've got a shadow in the shot somewhere. As long as it's in the white area like you don't have the shadow crossing over here in the middle you'll probably be okay. But I'm going to go ahead and go with the printer uh, version uh, that I used to scan this document in because it's the most white background and it just makes cleanup a lot easier. But I do also have some slight shadowing from another page that was in there. So you want to crop this image so that you have just your, just your text, just your handwriting, and that is all. So from here, we're going to do the engraving one. Just really quick, quick and easy. I'm gonna go here to Path, Trace Bitmap, and we're going to do Brightness Cutoff under Single Scan. Uh, as far as what these controls here do, your threshold is taking in how much of the gray and white and black of your image and what it's doing with it. So if I were full zero on this, it's not picking up anything. If I'm barely at point one, then it's barely picking up any of this gray that's in the image. Somewhere in the middle, it'll give you a nice balance. But I'm gonna go almost to full one here, maybe at point 0.9. I'm going to hit apply and it just puts the image right on top of itself. This one right here is the SVG version of this image. So this we could copy and paste right into Lightburn and we can engrave that. So this is what happens. Sometimes you get a bit of some leftover image in there and you have to do some cleanup and that is okay. So here's how we're going to go about to fix that. Um, first we'll double click here and I can just grab these nodes, select and delete them. This is probably going to be your quickest and easiest fix. And then everything else is part of my smiley face, part of my handwriting, that's good. I want to try something here because if I s zoom in, you see all these little bits, all these little speckles. Now you could turn the speckles, you know, up high, apply that, but it still doesn't get rid of all of them. It does a pretty good job. So if you want those speckles to be removed, then go ahead and turn that speckle count. Up. And you know what? I think I like that well enough that I will use that. So as far as the rest of the letters, you see that it's really blotchy and blocky. And if we double click into this, you see there are a lot of nodes. This may not make a whole lot of uh, difference, but if you want it to be a little more smoothed out, you can click this, go to path, simplify, and it smooths out the font a little bit, but it can distort it. So it may just be a trade-off where this is what you got, this is as good as you're gonna hope to get it. But now we're also going to address another uh, mode here, which is centerline tracing. 
Now in order to get that to work, we need this to be a PNG image. Sadly, we cannot use this one because it will be very spotty and grainy and blotchy because we're still using a pretty raw and drawn image. So we would like to use something that is a little more cleaned up. Ideally, the fewer speckles you have, the better. So I'm going to make a copy of this, post it here, and I am going to do that uh, simplify option where we smooth out those areas. And here's a little trick here that I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to print screen, bring it over to my area that has you know, the ability to crop. And I'm going to crop that down to just my graphic. Hit done. Copy that. And bring it back in. So now, what did that do? What did that accomplish? Well now, this is a PNG image. So is this. But this one has been cleaned up, it's smoothed out, it's one color on top of another color, it's a lot cleaner to look at. So if I were to apply that center line tracing here, now I have much cleaner lines. Now you might be asking, well what the heck, what, what would I want that for? Well, this is how you can take handwriting and treat it on your laser for the laser to actually follow as if it were your own hand. So what we're going to do here is go into our node editor, hitting F2 to get into that. And I'm going to clean up the little straggler bits, the little pieces that aren't letters or anything. And you know what? That's pretty clean. I'm, I'm happy with that as a representation of my handwriting. So we have an option here. We'll go ahead and delete everything. Delete. Post that there. Go in and I believe this was our one that we wanted to engrave. Post that there. This one I'm going to change to a blue color because that is my score line engraving. Now let's give these uh, a height. Let's make them two inches tall. So now we have two expressions of font that I hand wrote, edited, and put through my graphic magic to put here. So now that I can engrave all this. So if I were to look at that in the preview window, this is how it would be treated. It's going to engrave everything first and then do all my score lines. So let's see what it looks like. Have a good sheet of really cheap material to do all of your tests on.
just like that, we are done. Let's take a look at this. So this bottom one was engraved, and this top one was just score marked. The difference between these two was the bottom one was back and forth, back and forth for engraving, while this one just followed the path of the letters as if it were handwriting it itself. So whether or not you want one or the other, the results are very similar. So really you just have the creative decision of deciding which one you like better. So I hope that helps you understand what you can do with a laser engraver. You can take handwritten things and engrave them. You can take them as engravable things or have it make it your own handwriting. It does take a little design know-how, but you can get some great results with that. So knowledge is the thing that cures intimidation and any discouragement you may have about, oh no, I can't do this, I can't be a part of something like this. This requires too much knowledge, too much, but Inkscape is free. I love Inkscape. I love using it because it is open source free software. So check it out. Not sponsored, I just love the software. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you coming here to learn a skill. I want to be dropping knowledge bits like this wherever I can go. And please, by all means, ask questions in the comments. Let me know if you want me to specify some other design technique. Anyways, thank you for coming. Bye.